Hey, what's up, guys? I hope you're doing okay. Today, we are going to be making some soft pretzels. These are honestly the best pretzels I've ever had, so let's get started. To start off, we are going to grab one and a half cups of warm water. Into that, we are going to add one package, or I'm pretty sure that's two and a half teaspoons of uh, instant yeast. And in addition to that, we are going to add about half a teaspoon of sugar. The sugar helps uh, activate the yeast faster. So I just poured it in, and then my dad walked in and decided to start a conversation. <laughs> so it was a little awkward. Um, and then into our yeast, we are going to add... I know it's bad for yeast, it kills yeast, but we had to do it. We are going to add one teaspoon of salt. I just mixed that up really fast. We are going to add one tablespoon of unsalted melted butter oh my god and we are going to slowly start adding our four cups of all-purpose flour and we are going to mix that up slowly with a wooden spoon i have one here i've yeah, i usually don't use wooden spoons i don't know why i just it's never been my thing but i used it today so yay then when it's all you know stuck together barely comes together into like a shaggy dough, we are going to throw it onto a floured work surface and we are going to knead it until it is smooth, soft, and beautiful. And it'll look like, um, this. Yeah. Look how, look how pretty that is. Like, come on, man. So now we are going to let that rise on our countertop or in a warm space for around 10 to 15 minutes. While that is rising, we are going to get nine cups of water and we're going to mix in roughly, roughly half a cup of baking soda. And we're going to whisk that in, make sure the water is cloudy and not just baking soda lined at the bottom because that's horrible. When the 10 minutes of your rising are up, we are going to chop our dough into equal pieces. This really depends on how big you want your pretzels to be. I just divided them into, I'm pretty sure it was uh, a third of a cup or a quarter cup size. I basically just divided it and then I put it in a measuring cup and cut off whatever was hanging out, uh, hanging out over the top and they all came out very equal, so that's really cool. If you want to break out the scale, you can also do that. It doesn't matter. Uh, as you can see, I am rolling the dough now because I'm going to do the fancy twist pretzel type thing. So, I don't know how to describe it. Just kind of roll it with your hands and then slowly move your hands out. Does that make sense? If, if it doesn't, you can, you can watch it here. Just slowly move it out while you're rolling, I guess. So when you get to a length of your dough that you want, I like to roll mine very long so then I have nice big pretzels and I'm able to twist it well. Okay, so we're getting to the twisting part now. Please bear with me as I try to describe this. We're going to cross the strings and then we're going to twist it again so each side lands on its I guess according sides so like the left string still ends up on the left side and the right string still ends up on the right side Does that make sense? If it doesn't you can look at this you can always look at pretzel pictures I'm sure you will figure it out. It's it's easy once you get used to it uh, So now we have our pretzels and we're going to run over to our stove that has our boiling baking soda water and we're just going to plop our beautiful pretzels in and we're going to let these boil for 20 to 30 seconds. Uh, apparently, if you leave it in longer, it will have a metallic taste, so make sure to count those seconds. When all of your pretzels are done, we're going to give it a quick egg wash to give it that beautiful golden crust you saw in the, you know, in the intro. It's, oh my god, it's so pretty. And it also helps your salt and whatever toppings you put on before it goes in the oven stick. So definitely do not skip this step. Then we are going to sprinkle on our coarse salt. I also decided to do uh, like a cinnamon sugar topping on the top. It's literally just cinnamon and sugar mixed together. I thought it would look cool. It, it didn't, but it tasted great. So if you want to sacrifice your looks for the pretzels tasting good, definitely try that. Then we're going to put the pretzels in an oven that is preheated to 400 degrees for 
12 to 15 minutes or until it looks good. Usually when they're golden, they're done. Look how pretty they are. Like, bruh. And you can probably see what I'm talking about with the, the brown sugar, right? Like... I mean, not brown sugar, the cinnamon sugar. It looks kind of weird, but they're very hot because they just got out of the oven. So here you go. If you like plain pretzels, you should probably stop here. Again, oh my god, it was so hot. So it took me a couple tries. But here's what the inside looks like. Super duper fluffy, super chewy. Oh my god, I want to make these now, but it's like one o'clock, so I can't do that. But look at that. Like... Come on. Come on, dude. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. They're, like, super flavorful. The little salt gives a nice crunch. They're just, they're perfect all around. I'm not even gonna lie. They're, they're the best things. I say it every time, but these are the best things I've ever made. It gets better and better every time I get back in the kitchen. Not to flex on you guys, but just, like, follow my videos and you'll have that experience, too. <laughs> So, if you like plain pretzels, stop there, got your pretzels, done, easy. But, if you're like me, and you like having dips with your pretzels, if you're like my family, and like having dips with your pretzels, this is what you want to do. We're going to have a sweet, and then we're just going to have just regular mustard. For the sweet, we're going to add about two tablespoons of powdered sugar, a sprinkle of salt, about a teaspoon of butter, and I'm going to say about a tablespoon to two tablespoons of milk and a splash of vanilla mix that all up until it's smooth that's what it looks like and then in the other bowl i just put um mustard because that's what you put on a pretzel so for the sweet ones that i put the cinnamon sugar on i dipped it in the sweet one. Oh my god it was so good and then for the regular ones i dipped it in both the cinnamon sugar and the mustard and it it tastes great i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did make sure to like comment share and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video stay well stay safe bye